Today's video is going to be how to install a pre-domed tip at home with a basic install kit. Hey everybody, welcome to Learn Billiards. I'm Mitty Altman, your PBIA instructor. All right, so here you can see the basic tools that I'm going to use to install a pre-shaped, when I say pre-shaped, meaning a pre-domed um, layered pull cue tip. Now here you can see I have a scrap piece of maple and I just put a, you know, um, an old ferrule on there for this uh, video specifically for the demonstration. So let's say, all right, that's your pull cue. We need to remove this tip. Now you could use a blade, um, traditional razor blade, something like this. Get as close to the ferrule as you, you're comfortable with. Let me turn that so you can see it this way. All right, and then you just want a slight rocking motion. And you'll press right through and the tip comes off. Now some people use a pair of pliers and when the tips on there I'll show it on the other side when the tips on there they grab it with the pliers and just pop it off whatever you're comfortable with I'd like using the razor blade you can see how close I get to the ferrule and now I'm going to show you the ferrule sanding tool all right so I have my pull cue in there ferrules pressed up against the sanding block right there you can see and then I just grab the handle, obviously hold on to the pull cue, and then just rotate the handle. And that's going to give me a perfectly flush surface. So when I go ahead, and you can see it's take, you know, took some of that leather off. And if you need to get more off, just go ahead and readjust this a little bit higher. Tighten it up, and then I could get right on there. Doesn't take a lot. You'll have that sanded down in no time. So as you can see, I have a really nice, clean, flat surface. All the glue residue is removed. All the leather is removed. I'm gonna go ahead, and take this right out. Clean that off a little bit. Look at that. That looks great. So it's crucial that I have a perfectly flat surface or as flat as possible. Trying to do that freehand. Um, you know, a lot of people just take a piece of sandpaper, try to get that flat. You need a perfectly flat surface. All right. So you get 100% contact with your leather tip and the ferrule. And that's what you're looking for. All right, so for the next step, very, very important, I have my domed, um, pre-domed, multi-layered pull cue tip. And I want to make sure I sand it real good. I got to have a nice, good, um, clean surface. You want to go in a circular motion. All right, so got that all taken care of. Got a nice, good, rough surface on the bottom. I always lay a little uh, napkin down when I'm doing any type of gluing. So here we have the uh, prepped ferrule. And then we're going to go ahead and glue it on. We want to get as close to center as possible. So what we're going to do is go ahead, apply some glue, and then I'm going to put this in the tip clamp. Put a little bit of glue. You don't have to go crazy. This stuff spreads really well. Just want to make sure you get everything covered. Now, when you go ahead and use the tip press, it will apply the pressure that's necessary.
check it and make sure I'm as center as possible. You got to get pretty good at this because you don't have a lot of time before that is set everywhere. All right, so I have our overhang all the way around. I'm going to go ahead and put it in the tip clamp. I'm going to push forward, apply as much pressure as possible. All right, so I'm pushing forward. Then I slide the clamp. This is your locking clamp. So would it be up here? Slide it down to where it's nice and firm. And then I'm going to take my napkin and wipe off as much glue as that I can see. Now it's important that you let this sit. Depends on the type of glue that you're using. All right, I'm using a fast set glue. And I'm gonna let that sit for about five to six minutes. And then we'll move to the next step. All right, so here's a close up that you can see of the tip clamp. I'm letting it sit for five to six minutes. And when done right, it will make a nice strong bond. All right, so here's a nice little and valuable tool I found. Um, basically just a giant pencil sharpener, but it's made for pool cues. So I'm going to go ahead and take the tip out of the clamp. All right, so we're going to go ahead and use this pencil sharpener, or I should say tip sharpener. It's important that you put it in nice and straight. You don't want it on an angle. Um, I found that if you use it on an angle, it's just going to take off the top edge. So it's very good if uh, your tip's mush mushroomed, if you go ahead and put it on an angle this way. All right, you need to be as flush as possible. So again, when you use this tool correctly, it definitely can be an invaluable tool. So you just want to go ahead and go slowly because you don't want to gouge into the ferrule. So again, you take it nice and slow. You can see the way it's shaving out like that. And it's just taking the side off. You're going to bring it down to the ferrule as close as possible and then finish it with a sander. All right, so I don't want to go crazy and get too close. But you could already see how much time it's going to save me, um, you know, trying to sand that edge completely flush with the ferrule. So you could go a little bit closer if you want. Again, take it nice and slow. Don't rush it. You don't want to ruin your, um, your ferrule in particular. Because then you're in for a nightmare. Now I'm going to go ahead and use my 5-in-1 multi-tool. Again, I have a um, scuffer right here. I have two shapers, a dime shaper and a nickel shaper. And then I have, this is for the sides. This works great right here. All right, there's a little groove in here that the ferrule will sit. And then the tip, anything overhanging that ferrule is going to press on the sandpaper. I find this a, to just be a great tool. Then also to burnish it, you'd put the tip inside there and you turn and you burnish it. All right, so let's go ahead. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start sanding. So I actually just hold the tool so as solid as possible. Place the shaft, obviously, with the tip and just back and forth and rotate. I work one side, I rotate a little bit. Now obviously this is gonna take you a little bit of time, but when done properly, you're gonna get flush to the ferrule. So we're gonna fast forward here. All right, so a couple of minutes, I'm that much closer. All right, probably about two, three minutes of um, sanding this. So again, get that ferrule right into that groove all right and then just go back and forth and rotate little by little and you'll get super super close i mean 
I'm very impressed at how good this tool actually works. You can flip it over to the other side. It does the same thing. So, again, I'm rotating it. I'm using the side sander on here. Get as flush as possible. I already have my pre-dome tip, so I don't have to go crazy on getting that nickel radius. Again, this pre-domed is a nickel radius. And I'm really, really close. I got a slight lip over here. And again, a few more minutes of sanding and I could get flush to the ferrule. And then to take care of these edges, I go ahead and use my sanding and shape it however you like. This is a personal preference. So again, you don't have to go crazy. Everybody likes their tip slightly different, and that's what's great, you know, if you have the opportunity to install it yourself. And now, I'm going to go ahead and wet the edge. All right? So, I know a lot of people ask, what can you use on here? And honestly, you just put a little bit of saliva on there. You go ahead, place the tip right in there you want to rotate and that's going to burnish it it's basically going to seal the edge of the tip and it will smooth it out even further now if you want you could use a um, burnishing liquid or um, some people like to finish it with wax to get even a nicer finish on there I'm going to burnish this a little bit more. All right, so as you can see, up top is the tip we just installed by hand. And the one on the bottom is a tip I installed on my lathe. And you can see it got a really nice finish on the home install kit. And just trying to show you, you know, finished product, what you can do when you have the right tools. So again, Top is the one we just installed with the home kit. That's available on my website. There'll be a link below. Thanks for joining me.